Um, hello, this is Windows XP Help, and I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer. Um, there's actually lots of ways to speed up your computer, and I'm going to tell, show you three. First, open up, um, go to start, click on run, and then... Type in MS Con MS config. <sighs> then you have to wait for a few seconds. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and um. This window will show up and go to boot wait, um let me see. Uh no, yes. Um click on startup then this 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 all all this thing is programs that open when you um start up or boot up your computer. For example, um, Skype, that um, opens up when the computer um, boots up. So um, you want to remove um, some programs that you don't need. For example, um, OpenOffice.org 2.4, Wireless Configuration Ulity, Google, Gmail, no Notify, QuickTime Task, iTunes Helper, and those kind of stuff that you know of. You shouldn't. You should never um, uncheck the uncheck the um, programs that you don't know of. For example, Tin Setup, right here. I don't really know this. If you if you really want to remove it, um, go um. Search it on Google and see what it tells you, and um, see if it see if you can um, uh, remove it or not. And you could click enable all or disable all. So that's the first um, that's the first um, way to do it. The second way is, um, let me think, uh, the second way is to, um, um, get rid of really, um, not useful stuff. Well, first, go to start and go to all programs, and then go to accessories. System tools, disk cleanup, and you open disk cleanup. And you select the drive you want to clean up. For example, this is my local drive, so I really want to clean up this one and press OK. And then you have to wait for a while. And yeah, you have to wait for a while, yeah. And the third, uh, um, yeah. I just tell you the third trick, I mean, the third tip on how to, um, speed up your computer. So, um, you have to do this by yourself, not using any programs. You should get rid of all the files you don't need and put them in DVDs and CDs and keep it in a safe place. So I'll just put a DVD inside, a uh, clean DVD, and DVDs, um, 
are bigger than um, CDs, so you should um, definitely um, put files into your DVD. So you get rid of really um, stuff that you don't need, and um, for example, I don't really need this folder called Internet Stuff. It has some stuff inside. So you, I don't really need this, so you should put put this on um, the DVD I just put in. It's, it's gonna come up. So yeah, and and stuff that you don't need. For example, pictures, YouTube wallpaper, and those really nasty weird documents and programs you don't really need okay the desk cleanup opened I'll just leave it alone right here okay so okay it's not recognizing my DVD there DVD video recorder and you should you should install a program you should download and install a program called Burnaware from downloads downloads.com and yeah that helps you burn DVDs and CDs so if you download Burnaware if you have Downaware Burnaware where I mean Burnaware, um, open it up, and, um, wait for it to load, Burnaware free, and then go to the DVD tab, and then you should click on create data DVD, right here, um, and you can um, put uh, files, folders, or anything you can think of. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for updates on my account and my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.